Coming up next on the forum, we'll be having a conversation with LaShonda Jackson about the Frogtown Festival. That's coming up next on the forum. I'm your host, Sonny Brown. Welcome to the forum. Sitting with me today is LaShonda Jackson, and she's here to talk about the Frogtown Festival. Good morning, LaShonda. Good morning. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and up until the moment you got connected with the Frogtown Festival. Like, what got you into the Frogtown Festival? I was a student of criminal justice, and I ended up being a stay-at-home mom. Okay. And I got bored, so I started getting out in the community, and I got involved in a project called um, Leadership and Support of Neighborhood, mm -hmm. and that was working with District 7 in collaboration with Hamlin Midway District Council and Hamlin University, and I needed to come up with a community project. Okay. And that was... This is a part of the course yeah. that you were taking? Okay. And that would have been the community health fair. Okay. And I just kind of branded it with a name and called it the Frogtown Festival. So you started the community health fair? It was um, a project from uh, somebody before me, and okay. they kind of just dropped it and went off to college somewhere, and oh, okay. it fell in my lap, and I just continued it on. Okay, and so that's how it got, yeah. it turned into the Frogtown Festival? Yes. Okay, so I know we wanted to get into some background about how you got into that, but what is the Frogtown Festival? It is a free community event for all ages mm -hmm. um, with activities and concessions are out there, refreshments. Um, we've been partnering up with the, um, the youth football in the Twin Cities area, so they have come out and have a jamboree, a community fundraiser. And we have community resources out there um, around health issues, living healthy lifestyles, mm -hmm. having healthy relationships creating a healthy community. Mm -hmm. So what, I've never been to the Frogtown Festival, shame on me. What, <laughs> other than seeing the football team, you said they come out and what do they do? The youth from around the Twin Cities get together and they scrimmage mm -hmm. and getting ready for um, football season. Okay. Oh, okay, for the, so high schools, elementary? They are eight, nine-year-olds. Okay. Okay, so um, like places like Jimmy Lee and stuff like that yeah. come out. So when is it supposed to take place? We will be on the field at West Minnehaha Rec Center, uh, August the 30th. Okay, yeah. what times? 11 to 5 p.m. Okay, so this, this was my question actually. What kind of things, I know you said there'll be concessions and different stands out there. Would you liken it to Rondo Days, how there's different things going on, different game places, is it, is it street long, is it at one building? Paint the picture for me, what does it look like? It is nothing like Rondo Days <laughs> okay. at all. Okay, and okay. I don't have no expectation for it to be like <laughs> okay, Rondo Days. Okay. Right. And the uh, Frogtown Festival is in its seventh year, so this year things are a little different. Um, so we will not be in partnership with that football team this year, so do not expect to see the scrimmage. Okay. And so, but that is how it came about, so it'll be the first year without the scrimmage. That is still going on every year at West Minnehaha Rec Center, so do come out and support youth programming. Um, so, the, so just to clarify, they won't be scrimmaging at the Frogtown Festival, but the, but the teams are still going on? Yes. Okay, I see what you mean. So this any, year Any we reason have, why? The, it's become two events um, we have oh I see yeah okay. so they're scrimmaging and we and the Frogtown Festival is focused on um, community health okay and um, it's just it's become two events it's, okay it's two great events but it's okay. just got two different missions so. okay is it is it two different um, times is it the same day is it different weekends you can expect to see the um, Jimboree every year mm -hmm. August the third Saturday and the third the, Saturday of August. Of okay. August, okay. and um, you can expect to see the Frogtown Festival the fourth Saturday every okay. year. So. Okay. When you say community health, what do you mean? What kind of, what kind of things, um, 
What's connected to community health? What, is that, what does that mean? Everything. I mean, the environment, um, your mental state, your financial, your spiritual, your physical, anything that has to do with, you know, um, building healthy relationships inside of a healthy community mm -hmm. and having... Yeah. So what, what kind of organizations have you been linking up with? This to... year we'll be out there um, with the American Red Cross okay. um, doing a blood drive you know, potentially saving lives. So okay. do come out and donate some blood. Okay. Um, uh, you care, Health East will be out there doing some kind of checkups of some sort. Okay. Uh, you can come out there and get a pre-pregnancy test. Okay. Other okay. community resources. Okay. Anything else? Any Ramsey other? County is out there. Um, what are they gonna be doing? Ramsey County, what are they be doing? Uh, teen and child checkup, okay. um, referrals, references. Right? So when you say community health, you mean physical health, not just uh, what what kind of I believe physical you said health, mental health. But so when you so I mean there might be an organization out there that um, specialize in um, programming that deals with um, groups um, of people coming together and dealing with whatever their daily issues are, whether um, it's a father project dealing with parenting okay. issues. Okay. Um, you need a stable mind, a healthy mind to have a healthy family, mm -hmm. healthy self. You need, um, so you might have an organization out there that will provide um, resources for um, uh, education or employment. You're going to have to have some kind of you know, training to get hired. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to have some healthy um, finances to okay, provide right, to for your all family. That, so to make all those plans. you got to yeah. take care of your financial health as well. So. Okay, so health in general. Yeah to have a quality life, okay. How has the Frogtown Festival, you said this is the seventh year, how, have, how has it changed the Frogtown community? What, what, what are the changes you've seen? Some good, some bad, lay it I all mean, out. I mean, one of the changes is that the gymmery is not there this year. However, you know, with the separation, what happened is that um, I was able to organize the gymmery to come together with uh, chat and that's among uh, organizations so they come out and um, with the stage and the mic and do community um, you know performances okay. and the um, university parade also is out there United University Parade so they come out also so seeing that community come together on both sides of the university okay. the Rondo side and the Frogtown side come together and the diversity of the um, people that are out there has been really nice so seeing it grow has been great so that's good that's good it's I, I didn't know that there were other sides coming in and different I was gonna ask how diverse is the Frogtown community it is, it is. Um, every year is a little something different I mean we've had the seniors out there playing bingo okay you know? <laughs> so you got the kids climbing rocks or you know the rock climbing and jumping around, face painting, so every year is a little different. You got jumpers and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, so something time. for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's, is it, would you liken it to a block party? Oh, well, you know, not quite. Okay. Not quite. Okay. Um, it's, we're still providing community resources, so we're not as loud as a block party, <laughs> but we are present. We okay. are there. Okay. What have been some of the difficulties in um, organizing this, some of the, maybe the um, obstacles you've, over the years, you've encountered? I mean, in the beginning, I was pregnant, you know, so, oh, wow. <laughs> so okay. I was like doing it, you know, with a belly, you know. Um, <laughs> then I was some stay at home mom with the kids, so mm -hmm. sometimes it's just the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm new to the neighborhood, I'm new to Frogtown. Where are Frog you from? Town. Um, I was um, in Minneapolis for a while, mm -hmm. so. Okay. And so I was new to the neighborhood, so I needed to get to know the community leaders, I needed to learn the community. Right. I needed to learn, you know, proper protocol. So. Okay, all right, well. That was frustrating. I wanted to do everything my way. Oh, okay. So just no. learn who to talk to and, and no. not being superwoman? Well, you know, <laughs> I haven't given up on that one Okay. Yet, so. All right. All right. Well, for me, when I heard about the Frogtown Festival, um, I am from Chicago, and I grew up here hearing about Frogtown. I know Rondo, um, but I have heard about Frogtown so often. What are the boundaries for Frogtown? Where is that? What is Frogtown? 
Now, I was in Minneapolis, and I'm from Texas, <laughs> um, but, you know, Frogtown is like University to Minnehaha. Okay. And, and Lexington at, to Rice. Okay, like that, that's yeah. East and West. Okay, so that's Frogtown, because yeah. I've always been confused about that. I always assumed, just going to high school with people, and I hear they, I hear them say Frogtown, and I always assumed it was just Rice Street, so it's good to be able to, right. to block that off. So and we're also not on the side of 94. We're on the other side of University. Okay, I see that. That's right, and that's... That's what was separated, right? Yeah. All of that was was Rondo, Rondo, right? And then it separated into, okay, learn something new every day. So do you know why they call it Frogtown? I have no idea. But <laughs> I, I heard this rumor, I guess, it, it must have been, I, I don't know how long ago, maybe it was underneath water or something. Mm -hmm. And when it dried out, frogs were left, and they came up with Frogtown. I don't know the the actual of it, specificity but, but of it, just something. something like that about Frogtown. I'm going to have to do some research and find that out. And I started doing some community garden. I go outside and there were like frogs in the yard. And oh, I really? didn't go back to community garden until the next <laughs> year. But yeah, so there are some frogs in Frogtown. Okay. All right. Well, what are do you have any new projects going on right now? Or is it just kind of steady with what you've been doing? Are there any changes you'd like to see with the organizing portion of the of the celebration you know um frogtown festival come out it is a community event for all you know it'll be august the 30th we'll be out there from 11 to 5 685 west minnie park and rec everybody come out it's free it's fun you know enjoy um i am working on some other stuff i am actually um working on with docu another program i'm going through and I am working on my first documentary. I'm still focused on community health. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to draw my attention towards the youth. Mm -hmm. So uh, the documentary will focus on teen pregnancies mm -hmm. and teen parenting. Okay. And how are you, like you said, it's community health. Is is there a reason why you're focusing on teen pregnancy? Is this something that you're only seeing in Frogtown or just something you see in worldwide or nationwide or Twin Cities wide? Or? I'm seeing it all over the place. And um, like, I am like an American. I like, I love it. And I would like to see us like grow like mm -hmm. as far as a country. Mm -hmm. And I see that with, you know, some stability like education and, you know, income and things of that nature, housing. And I find that when the youth are out there um, getting in mischief or not, and mm -hmm. they're making decisions to have kids or not making a decision, decision they right. have to take on adult roles, and they're not even ready to do that. Mm -hmm. So how do we, you know, put a cap on that, get some control of that, mm -hmm. you know? Since that is your interest and something you're working on, is that going to be something to expect at the festival this year or in the future? Yeah, I want to definitely go into the direction of where we have a focus on youth community health. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the reasons for the separation from the Jim Reed. Oh, okay. Still supporting youth programming. It's just not necessarily about athletics, promoting exercise for sure and diet. Right. You know? But we, I want to focus a, a little something else somewhere else in the neighborhood. Okay, so, so the Jamboree, since that's from, every, or do you want to, hmm, how am I going to ask this question? Do you want to put more of your focus in athletics in the Frog down, Frogtown community? I want to focus on youth community health around the Twin Cities area. Okay. Yeah. Why and, is that important? It's important. I don't know. I have kids, and mm -hmm. I just wanted them to be healthy, and you know, I don't know. It's important. It's important for our community. We want our community to be uplifted and grow. We mm -hmm. don't want to see it fall, and, you know, you know, be overwhelmed in crime and it's always being destroyed. And, you know, we want to see something positive in the community. And we can start with our future and the youth are our future and we need to get a hold of some of the issues they're having. Mm -hmm. and what are their issues? And we need to communicate with them so we can, you know, try to, you know, provide resources and services for the youth. Before, before this all started, when you, because what you told me before was, it was someone else's project when you started taking the classes, the community classes, and it was there and available and you jumped on top of it. Aside from wanting to see things or improvements in the in the community, was there any specific one thing or was it just health? Did, it, did you want to see um, 
15 pregnancies? Did you want to see athletics? What, what was the one thing that made you say, I'm going to do this? Well, athletics is a must. I have an eight-year-old son, and he is not going to run off, and I can't <laughs> catch him. No, but seriously, um, no, I've always wanted to do babies in book bags. I think it's something about teen parenting, pregnancy, it just kind of always interests me. I'm not a teen mother myself, not at all. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to figure out why. Why, why do you become a teen mom? I mean, isn't the prom not exciting enough? Don't you want to go off to college and have those experiences, you know? And what are your barriers? You know, what hurdles need to be leaped over once you are a teen parent? And teen parenting, what does that consist of? Are the fathers involved? Mm -hmm. You know, where do you get, you know, financial help from? You know, are you being housed? How do you continue your education? And how does that affect the other kids when you're in school mm -hmm. and they're coming in with these babies? You know, how, how did that affect them? And how do you feel, you know? Mm -hmm. I, just, I just wonder how... You How just you lighten up talking it? about yeah, it. You seem you know, real passionate about it. So. so what's going on in their heads? I mm -hmm. want to know. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up, you know? Asking them those questions yeah. that might get them using their critical thinking skills to, to maybe uh, direct them away from that. Maybe uh, start having more healthier relationships. Mm -hmm. You are watching SPN Inform. I'm your host, Sonny Brown, sitting here with LaShonda Jackson. And we're talking about the Frogtown Festival, and I'm getting all the behind the scenes mm -hmm. about frogs and <laughs> the boundaries of what exactly Frogtown consists of and, and uh, what started you off in wanting to do this and Babies in Book Bags, your documentary. And um, I know I asked you this before, but I'm not sure if I got the answer, so forgive me. But what has been the most difficult part as, as far as organizing? I know I think you said wanting to do it your way. What, what do you mean when you say that? Elaborate. What do you mean when you say that? I have that? all these ideas and I do not know how to do anything I'm doing, so I just figure, um, you know, whatever I say goes. However, you know, I don't, you know, with, you know, getting the park or sponsors involved, you know, mm -hmm. I just, you know, how do you get the sponsors involved, you know? Mm -hmm. Who do you go to to get the sponsors involved? It's, for me, it's like, you know what, I just want an ambulance there, you know? The ambulance need to show up, but who do I call to get the ambulance there? And what services do they provide? I want you to provide this service. What if they don't provide that service? Who provide this service? So it was just I needed to learn a lot about the whole community organizing part. Mm -hmm. I needed to learn a whole lot about the organizations that are actually coming out to community events mm -hmm. and what they offer for the community. So it wasn't about what how I wanted to see the event. Mm -hmm. It is how we come together as a community. So. Do you think the light rail has made a difference or will make a difference? Because it's still fresh this year with them just being complete. Um, do you think it's Do you think it's going to make a difference in the celebration? And what kind of difference do you think it's going to make? As you said, you had never heard of the event, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um, hopefully people will begin to hear about it. And um, having the light rail will provide transportation to the event, mm -hmm. and so. Yes, it can make a difference and bring out more people from around the Twin Cities, both sides of the bridge. So, What has been your advertising, uh, for lack of a better word, efforts to get the word out? Because, like I said, you know, when Rondo comes, it's like, whoa, when, you know, there's these different, you know, parades and things like that that go on in the Twin Cities. And um, it's been, the Frogtown Festival has been going on for seven years, and I haven't heard about it, and I'm kind of upset about it. So. So with regards to that, do you have any plans to maybe get the word out, um, um, lengthen your outreach? What, what, what are you doing for that so that more people, or is this something that you just want to keep for Frogtown? You know, when the budget grow for um, <laughs> marketing, we can, you know, establish mm -hmm. that um, budget. At this time, you know, we're using word of mouth, some social media. Mm -hmm. You know, but definitely there are some, you know, other outlets out there with, that could be used. So, Do you guys have, are you are you on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest? Yeah, I mean, I'm the still list learning goes on. All that. I, absolutely. I'm still in the learning phases. You know, I have an email address. So. Well, you know, some that's okay. <laughs> Do you have so, a website? Um, FrogtownConnections at um, dot com. Okay. FrogtownConnections okay. com. What are you doing as far as? reaching out to, because I know there are young people who like organizing. Are you guys working with any youth right now? 
I am. Teenagers, high school students. To, I am. Okay, I am. what are you doing with what are you doing with that? I am telling them to uh, get an education. No, um, they're, <laughs> they're, um, I encourage them to also be community organizers, to volunteer in the community, do something positive. I mean something, I mean along the lines of helping with the Frogtown celebration. I will have um, youth out there tabling, um, volunteering, mm -hmm. and so they will help um, organize the event, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's set up or cleaning up. Um, they can sit and do the sign up mm -hmm. process for any donors mm -hmm. for the American Red Cross for the blood drive. So they, there will be some participation out there. Okay. Uh, you said you were a stay at home mom. Yeah. So I know you got one baby, two, three, four. I have kids. Okay. I have a 16 year old daughter. Oh, she okay. Is, so she's helping. She is the youth. Yeah. <laughs> she's Absolutely. Helping. So how, how do they, do they help around this time of year and what yes, do they do? do? So she'll be volunteering and I have a eight-year-old son. Okay. He's been out flyer in the community. Okay. And I have a four-year-old daughter, and she has learned to say Frogtown Festival will be <laughs> August the thirtieth, you know, <laughs> from eleven to five. So she's sharing the information. Okay. Have you used any other forms of media to get the word out about the celebration? Um, you know, we might do some press release. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Have you done it in the past? Yes. Okay, all right. Anything else you'd like us to know about the Frogtown Festival? Anything at all? It is open to the community. It's free and it's an annual event. Come out, the whole family, bring the kids, send the kids. This is my question. Is there going to be food there? You come out and donate some blood. There will be refreshments. Okay, yeah. okay. There will be some food. Okay, so it's, it's, like you said, it's mainly geared towards community health and 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 the different stand like the Red Cross again. Could you name them off for me? The Red Cross is going to be out there. Ramsey County Teens and Checkup. Um, Healthy to be out there. You care sponsors us this year. They might not be in attendance. Uh, who else? Um, hmm. Head Start will be out there doing oh, some okay. registration. Okay. Um, so somebody, is... we'll be having somebody out there doing mini massages. Um, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a few of them. So. Has it has it grown? Has the celebration grown? It the has years? grown. It has grown. Um, what did you start out with? What did the first year look like? The first year won't look like this year with the separation of the Jamboree. Right. I want to say maybe like three to five hundred. I don't know because I'm like all over the place okay. at different times. Mm -hmm. And so I expect maybe two, three hundred. So it's still a very small community event. Okay. All right. Do you want to keep it small like I? I'm still learning. Okay. So I don't know. As time goes, yeah, I want to see it grow. Absolutely, I want to see it grow. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Lashonda, for coming out and, and talking with us and getting the word out about this. And um, hopefully, your your kids, your babies, will talk to the youth and get the get the voice out. And I wish nothing but good things for the festival. Thank you. All right. Oh, any last any last uh, contact information? Website number to reach you? Stuff like that. Last minute. LaShonda, 612-462-1720, frogtownconnections.com. And you can reach me via email, frogtownconnections at gmail.com. All right. You've been watching the SPN Inform. Thank you. <laughs>